Gossips, trending, viral content, celebrity lifestyle. Welcome to. Wahala, wahala, wahala. Oh, see, guys, eh? I am very, very surprised at this one, even though I am not all that surprised because one certain time this lover said that something was really going on in AY's marriage, that the marriage is not, was not stable then. So before we knew it, you know, debunking here and there, flying up and down. So today, AY's wife made a cryptic post on her Instagram page page and trust bloggers what bloggers cannot do does not exist guys this video is is going to entail so many things which is why you need to watch to the end of this video to get the full details but before then let me officially welcome you all back again to my youtube channel in case you're watching for the first time this is lovely just lover youtube thank you for watching and tuning in and to my returning beautiful wonderful handsome awesome amazing subscribers you guys are the real mvps thank you so so much for your massive support and and always watching so a wife's wife real mabel macon she said the threat to my life is actually getting out of hand and if anything happens to me there is just one person to be held responsible headed to the police station being abused mentally and all around for way too long and I have had enough. Now, popular blogger Kutu Juice went over to, to Instagram, you know, and just to check if <laughs> this rumor or this um, assumption is true. Lo and behold, both of them have unfollowed each other. So, could it be that people's assumptions and assumptions are true? Huh, hey, hey, I do not want to believe this one. No, this is a marriage, eh? Not like <laughs> made in heaven. I know, good lie. I know, good lie, yo, to be honest. Um, AY, AY, in a big brand, though, in a very big name for this one to happen. Anyways, let's keep on assuming, you know, till they let us know what is really going on because for now i'm not gonna lie it's still a rumor even though both of them have unfollowed each other we never can tell maybe ay wants to push out one of his projects you know he just concluded be concluded one of his projects like that Merry men past three maybe this is a stunt you know to promote that um that video that his project you know how celebrities how they do these things now what they want to um promote their projects you know they will just they will just um bring up one issue like that before you know it starts trending before you know they will not chuck that their project inside it will not be in the faces of everybody and before you know pam marketing strategy they go don't market their products they will sell and make money so like i said let's wait let's just wait it out <laughs> and hope is not true anyways if it's true ah they are two grown-ups they are adults now they know what they want for themselves now there are some comments I saw under the comment section of this her post, and some people we are kind of blaming this woman already, blaming real Mabel, a wife's wife, for coming out on social media to cry out, why now, nah? why, 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 nah, eh, nah, eh. Popular Nollywood actress Ruth Kadiri, she asked, who the Zuzu? This other person said, if you like, no talk, who they threaten you? As for me, I don't want to hear justice for anybody. And this other person said, please tell us exactly what happened because we are here to help you more since you know gets ha well, some people eh their comments eh this one now person where they pass through one kind distress where, 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 where we don't even know if by now she don't land herself into depression person there they, they tell them say you know get sense you can imagine hey this other person said drop the person handle or name what's the need of this post if you can't mention the person's name i just finished watching Mary Men 3 hope is not what i'm thinking now every time them they threaten all these rich people make on a let poor breathe he no go past husband and wife matter so i know they put mouth let me just stop here but there is this one particular comment that i've been searching i came across that comment and i tried to screenshot it before i knew it new post came in and the thing went off you know so the thing is uh, that commented the person said uh, why is she posting it 
if ay did not post it why is it that women are quick to come online to cry out anytime they have any kind of um, family or marriage issue or wahala men will endure and pretend as if nothing happened you know but women will come out and disgrace themselves hope thinking that they are disgracing their husband and guys when i read that comment you know what came to my mind there eh? i said hey jesus how we score they do this kind of thing where we say people go to inter switch and people go to switch like you be me today i become you tomorrow you test that thing that i tested that made me to come out and shout if you know shout i gonna say you chop mama the mama where you chop now strong one will be say even harm and off break up in my middle 30s guys i'm not gonna lie i have learned to stop blaming people that someone that courage to cry out to seek for help publicly people heal in different ways if you see a woman that is shouting that is crying out i need help see who is choking me don't blame that person because that person that is crying out might not have the opportunity to cry out tomorrow that might be the person's last cry the least we we can do is to help you know and stop pushing blames stop blaming women that someone courage to come out and seek for help it is not a bad thing to seek for help let's assume let's assume that this assumption now is you that truly a y and his wife they're having a kind of fracas and the wife came out to make this post on a one tell me say that these people criticizing this woman they want to tell me now that this woman she has not tried her best like she has not enjoyed enough that she has not been patching like she has not um consulted a, a third party either their their godfather their godmother you know their pastors to salvage this situation yet is not working out because a lot of people to grieve in in the different ways they know they can heal or they will heal fast from whatever situation they are in to not by in silence oh and don't allow anybody to silence you oh pata pata na talk they go talk if that shouting if that crying out will bring peace and bring your sanity back eh we even amend that man we will reset his brain. I beg, shout. Now, top people will talk. Last, last, I ain't go end them. The only advice I will chip in, or the only thing that I can tell the person that is even crying out is, bridle your tongue. There are things that are meant to say publicly and things that are meant to keep secret. Keep it within you. Because after the fight, remember, say, owner go set so. So, which face you want to take the look that your spouse after you don't scatanyan, after you don't bring the person secrets, after you don't criticize, you know, condemn the person publicly. Even if you accept the person, remember, the person's respect, you don't tarnish them. Like, you don't finish them. And it can never be regained. Crying out for help, public help, is not a sin, not a crime. But, bridle your tongue and mind what you say <laughs> that being said guys that brings me to the end of this video please and please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime i drop new video or videos on this channel we react analyze we give trending just celebrity news true crime and true crime stories and to my tony subscribers thank you for always watching liking commenting and sharing bye bye for now as i'm signing out for my next one peace out i love you all okay messi anungano bye I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated.